What features are on your, the pilot that you really um, like? There's not an awful lot that's like special from cars of this age. Uh, I like that it has actual four-wheel drive. It does have locking differentials, which is a pretty big plus. That's the one thing that really stands out to me from other SUVs of the same size. There's no no like sunroof or no amazing other kind of modifications that I've done to it. Um, I guess, yeah, that's kind of it for that. There's there's nothing too spectacular about this car, other than that it works, and I like it. Works after 200,000 miles. Yep, that's always nice. <laughs> uh, what other cars do you own? Um, I don't personally, like, own any other cars, but my family, we have a Subaru Crosstrek, um, which I don't like because it drives like a snail. Um, this little tiny four-cylinder engine puts out like a little over 100 horsepower and so if you put more than two people in it you're going about 30 everywhere um we also have a 2010 ford f-250 which is definitely way too big for my liking because it doesn't even fit in our garage well it just barely fits in our garage by about an inch actually <laughs> and uh that's the the cars that i've like driven recently uh, we used to own a little Volkswagen EOS convertible, which was pretty cool. Some of the my older videos came from in that car. Um, fun little car. It had a manual option, like the Tiptronic shifting, so you could turn it into a manual if you wanted to. And it just flew around corners with its turbo and low stance. And that was that was a fun car, even though it broke down like every three days. But. <laughs> That's what happens when you own a Volkswagen. <laughs> what are your top five movies ever? Are the five movies you've actually seen? You're, yeah. <laughs> you have to realize I've seen about three movies, and so <laughs> the uh, um, that's kind of hard to answer for me. But I don't even know. What do you think? Go fill in for my question. I think you like Napoleon Dynamite. That one, yeah, that obviously. was pretty funny. Um, I really liked the Cars movie when I was younger. That was one of my favorites, and it still kind of is one of my favorites. Just like the entire concept of that was just hilarious. Have you seen the second one? No, I haven't. Oh my goodness! I, I really need to. All right. Um, I think you liked the last Fast and Furious one. That yep, that definitely would be on there. That if was a I really good movie. Thought of the list, anyways. That would be there. Um, have you seen the Avengers? I have. It's like that a one top was pretty, one. pretty nice. Yeah. What about what other Disney movies? I don't even know. See, that's the problem with me is I'll watch a movie and then I'll never remember it. So I know I, I was, I've definitely seen more than three movies. I know you've seen Transformers. Yeah, the latest one. Yep, that one was pretty cool. <laughs> they were all pretty cool. There wasn't there like, any movie I watch I like. It seems like, and so. There's nothing really that I liked more than anything else. It just kind of all fit, and it worked, so. What is your zodiac sign? Um, I am a Gemini, I believe, which is pretty funny because it fits me, like, really well. <laughs> really, almost to the point of being concerning. Oh, what is your car's name? Oh, yeah, that's been an argument for a while. Um. I think the official name is finally Stanley now, because it says it on the taillights, and so the car kind of named itself, and I'll declare it that. Um, we wanted to name it something like a famous pilot's name, just because that would fit, but there aren't really any pilots that fit a pilot, if you, yeah, if you get the correlation there. <laughs> Will you only be doing bad driver compilations or a variety of things? Um, I'm trying to do other things, but it's kind of challenging because when you're doing bad driver compilations, it's not exactly a broad spectrum of things you can do and to still like keep subscribers like that. I've got a uh, personal mistakes compilation of just all my mistakes coming out, and it's like... 
eight minutes of me messing stuff up, which is pretty funny. But other than that, I have one. This road we're on right now actually is pretty bad for bad drivers when we get farther down uh, to the east. But and I'll have a video of uh, clips I've gotten just from that part of the road because there is a lot of clips from down there. But other than that, I don't really plan on anything. I'm still open to suggestions and stuff, but nothing all that prominent that I'm trying to make right now. I think you should do a crash compilation of the mountain biking. Should I? Mm -hmm. There's other, all those are still on the other channel. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, se a second channel, GoPro Life, that I haven't used in like forever. But if you want to see me crash on my mountain bike, go look it up. It's go well, GoPro Life 101, all one word. There's only one of me, so that could be funny for some of you that would like to enjoy watching my pain. <laughs> I'm on that video, in the, on that channel as yep, well. So. Yep, there's a few of his crashes. <laughs> He's got some of the funniest. That face plant you had, oh. oh where man. I was just sitting there looking at you through the bush. <laughs> you're like, Pfft. Dude, those rocks were bad though. I got caught in it. There was nothing to do. I might, uh, I might put that video in this just to, uh, <laughs> just to humiliate you. Just, oh because that was the funniest crash I've ever seen. And I thought I, I have a 29er and I thought I could roll over it, but <laughs> yeah. no. Uh, not quite. Oh, well. I think we're going to go through a little tour of Garden of the Gods, because I didn't think we were going to make it this far, so. We, we're almost done. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll probably make it into Garden of the Gods, and then call All right. it good. Um, which state do you want to live in when you're older? Um, that's a challenge, because... It really depends on what job I end up taking. Um, I definitely like Colorado as a state in general. There's a lot to do outdoors. I want to stay someplace where it's not too hot, not like horrendously cold, and where there's still at least some sort of mountains to, you know, be exciting. Have something to look at other than just like grass and trees every once in a while. But other than that, I really don't have any future plans other than college. Um, college, I may be moving to Montana to go to Montana State. Uh, the, that state is rated number one for worst drivers in the U.S., so that would probably be pretty exciting for you guys, but uh, like I said, I'm still a year and a half out from that, so establish anything yet when it comes to moving anywhere. I know Utah has some pretty bad drivers. Yeah. I haven't really, I haven't even looked into colleges there. Isn't that where you're going? Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking about. Really. Yeah. All right, next question. Uh, what religion are you? That kind of gets confusing because, well, no need to go into details, but pretty much Christian, but I don't really enjoy church all that much, so I try to go as little as possible. I don't really like the idea of organized church, especially, yeah, we'll just leave it at that, because <laughs> there's, that's, that gets really confusing when I start talking about it. Um, what's your job? I don't have a job, because nobody hires people under 20 with no experience, <laughs> except for, like, McDonald's, so... I've done my best and I've applied everywhere, but I still can't get a job. I uh, worked for a landscaping company last year. Uh, that was fun and very challenging. Very challenging. 10 hour days of just digging for forever and ever and ever. And we're gonna cause a traffic jam. What is that? Because tourists. Doing? <laughs> um, yeah, I just, nope, can't find a job. Um. Can we see your face? That one... I wish the, I didn't the, uh, have to see his face. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just going to kind of drive off the cliff now. <laughs> um, the, I noticed you guys, you asked that question, and then you went and found the video that had my face in it. There are two clips on my channel that have my face in it. Um, you can go find those if you want, but I'm not posting like a selfie of me because I don't know. I don't take pictures of myself because I always look ugly in those pictures. So. 
even though the uh, the two clips I'm in, it's kind of interesting. It like doesn't really look like me because both of them I just finished a cross country race, and so I'm in kind of like death mode at that point. So the uh, that doesn't really express me very well, but I'll leave you guys to suffer because I won't be posting a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your dream vacation? Um, that's hard because there's a lot of cool places in the world. Um, I really like New Zealand just because I had a friend that lived there for a year and apparently that's like the most fantastic place to just go and have fun. Like there's zip lines everywhere apparently, which would be really cool. And then just kind of the culture there and they have really cool cars. I really like the Toyota Land Cruisers uh, when they when they're lifted and all off road worthy. That would probably be pretty close to my dream vacation. Uh, if you could meet any dash camera, who would it be? That's a challenge because each of them have their own cool traits that would be kind of fun to actually like meet them personally. Um, Probably Halo Mastermind, just because he has like the most successful dash cam channel and he seems to know an awful lot about road laws in general. So it'd be really interesting to know like what he does to, don't mind me sounding like a stalker here, but what he does to know about all that. And just kind of in general, nobody knows anything about him. He's just kind of there. <laughs> um. Coke or Pepsi? I don't like soda, so neither. I can't take the fizziness. <laughs> it just kind of demolishes my insides. <laughs> I prefer Coke. There you go. Uh, what is your favorite national chain re or yeah, national chain, re chain restaurant? Um. Well, it depends on what part of the nation you're in. Um, recently here we got some Five Guys, which is probably one of my favorite. Um, other than that, I don't really have much of a preference. They all have their pros and cons, but Five Guys has quite a bit of pros. in and out or Steak and Shake, those are my two. Yeah, any hamburger place like that pretty is much, pretty yeah. hard to go wrong. Um, what are your future life plans, if any? Um, I guess we kind of went over that a little bit. I'm going to go to college for some sort of engineering degree, but that's all I know so far. <laughs> Who knows if I'll stay here, if I'll move somewhere else. I've always thought moving to Australia or New Zealand would be kind of fun, but, you know, I can't guarantee that either. So that's kind of up in the air. <laughs> um, how long have you lived in the Springs? Um... I've, well, since I was born, uh, my mom moved here like 20 some years ago and lived in the same, I've even lived in the same house up until just a few months ago. Um, just because it's that, it's a nice place, especially if you're on the west side, there's, there hasn't been an awful lot of reason to leave, so we've just kind of stuck here, even though I will be leaving for college, definitely I'll be. I might not be out of state, but I'll be out of the city. That's pretty much guaranteed at this point. All right, so uh, what school do you want to go to, like college-wise? Um, well, you kind of heard some of that already. The School of Mines sounds cool, but I might not be that smart. Um, Montana State is pretty awesome sounding. I haven't actually visited yet, visited there yet, but the uh, opportunity for outdoor oriented stuff is really big there and then they're a pretty uh, good academic school too so I like that idea um, and then just some of the smaller Colorado colleges uh, the one in Durango we were there a few weeks ago uh, Grand Junction other than that um, I'm not fully decided that's just kind of the general idea of where I want to go uh, and then the final question is, where do you find all these dirt trails? Oh, well, we went over that some already. Yeah. But uh, 
they're up they're up the mountain to our kind of left right now and we're almost to a really cool rock so I might just kind of keep the video going we can have a conversation about random dash cam things until we get there because that's one of the coolest uh, tourist attractions in Colorado Springs I bet there's at least 50 people there right now. yeah probably or 50 cars yeah it is especially in the summer it's like 4 30 on a Wednesday right now so there's not many people here but if you come here like for tourists you probably want to avoid midsummer, especially on the weekends, because this entire park is just packed, overflowing with endless people, and people, there's not much parking in, in here at all, like at all. <laughs> it's full even on a day like today. So that's a that's a good thing to talk about probably right now is visiting Colorado Springs. Some good things to do. Um, you'll definitely Pikes Peak is the mountain straight ahead, just slightly to my left. Um, 14,000 some feet, there's a hill climb race, both on foot and in cars. That is pretty cool to see. If you've never been up that high, it's a fun place to, to visit. And it's very, uh, what's the word? Very like civilized. You don't have to backpack up there or anything. There's a road that goes up. There's a train that goes up and you can also hike and bike all the way up. Um, what else here is cool? The zoo is pretty cool. And then Garden of the Gods Park, where we are in right now, is really cool. Especially that rock, and I'm gonna get backed into. that The rock that just kind of sits there and balances like it should fall over. People always take pictures there like they're gonna try to push it over. <laughs> it's yet to fall down, so <laughs> let's hope it stays that way. Uh, what else here do you think? It's fun to visit. Just um, kind of the skiing is another thing. Yeah, skiing's really close. The uh, all that in general, mountains in general are fun. Yeah, if you're really an outdoorsy person, this is the place to go. Yeah, you can go backpacking and hiking and mountain biking, road biking, pretty much anything you want to do outside, other than like water ski or something you can do here but there's no there's a uh we have the lake what's it called lake powell it's no down south the rampart reservoir is up that way that dirt road that was on the right that's one of the four-wheel drive trails that i go up often um there's a reservoir in the middle of town um, oh memorial no not the, memorial the, what's it called i know what you're talking about there's a res i'll look it up when i get back and i'll put it here because that that's like the only place it's still pretty small though um but i've gone water skiing there and it's like dead center in the middle of downtown yeah they dip water balloons in it on memorial day weekend mm -hmm. that's pretty cool um other than that there's really not people usually just come here for a the the uh, garden of the gods and pikes peak and the mountains in general or they come here to ski in the winter, which is, this is a pretty good hub if you're planning on skiing, just because it's maybe two hours to most of the ski areas. Um, other than that, I think I'm gonna end in this parking lot down here and hope that both of my GoPros are still there. Well, one of my GoPros, the other one's yours, and I don't feel like paying for another one, so. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if I run over the curb again, um, Go ahead and ask any other questions that you need answered or want answered or that I didn't answer. Maybe I missed one. Um, so thanks for watching and expect to see more from me.